Hey everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Soul Blazer. So, last we left off, we just freed a good chunk of people from the first couple of areas of, well, the soul of the mountain, for lack of a better word. I think it's Mountain of Souls. Soul of Mountain. So let's talk to these people, because one of them has an item we desperately want. That's good. I'm as I assume that rock makes a pretty good insulator for your heat. I'm pretty sure that's how caves used to work. Well, at least they're hospitable. Sure, what do you want to start with? Nothing. That That's it. Okay then, we, we'll go this way. Hmm, your wife could use magic, huh? Guess we haven't freed her yet. Anyway, what's up with you two? You were? Okay. Uh huh. That's that's good. And it apparently, yes, I am completely right about this being something like dwarves, or maybe you know elves in the Santa Claus elf sort, or something. Anyway, you you had something for us. Snail goo on the bottom, huh? Oh, that's neat. That works. Anything else? Oh well, use what you got. Seems reasonable anyway. Okay, snail... well, I guess you're small enough to ride giant snails around. <clears throat> Wow. That kinda sucks. A race that's pretty dependent on year-to-year -year stuff. Uh-huh. Okay. So that's everything we can do now. There will be more to do soon. Pretty sure of it, anyway. equipped with the power bracelet. Still say this ramp is fairly useless. Very redundant. I mean they didn't take the uh yeah. go away. Go away! Yeah, can't get rid of these things. Oh, goody. Thankfully, they can't see the stuff right in front of them. Man, those are annoying. I mean, it makes sense to have snowballs roll after you, but they're a little too good at following us for snowballs. So, now that we are here, and we have our easy way into the other area... Wrong button. Kinda goofy looking, but hey gonna complain about goofy looking shoes that much anyway. And great.
grandma. Okay. The, that looks like the old man who said his wife could do magic. We will have to see about that. We'll have to see about that later, won't we? There we go. Level 15 didn't take very long. I just turned level 14 last video. There we go. So now this area is completely cleared out. So let's move on, shall we? And yeah, I do like that little effect with the icicles on the side of the screen there. Yeah. Like we're looking at it through the uh, camera. Like we're looking at it through a camera on the ceiling or something. Mushroom, huh? Okay. Last mushroom taught us something fairly disturbing, but hey, who am I to judge? Oh yeah, wizards. A couple of ways you can deal with them. One is that. Another is to deal with them like this, because they spin around, spit out magic at you, spin around again position themselves in a way that you can get hits on them. That opens our way forward. There's nothing else over to the left here. That's a lot of slimes. Should have gone and cleared the other side out. Hmm. Oh well. Maybe I'll get some extra experience from it. Be nice if these slimes had. Are they slimes? I mean, they could be, but if, either way, it would be nice if they had some type of AI that went after the player instead of... Oh, I don't know. Excuse me, folks. Hmm, and yawn. Instead of just kind of randomly bebopping around. And then these things. Swat them. Get out of the way. They like to explode. Oh yeah, these. These birds. They will circle around you in a pattern forever. And never actually seem to just straight out try to attack you. They will more just get it when they get a certain distance away from you they will turn towards you and keep flying around so the way to get them is to wait until they're just about to turn and then make take a couple steps and swing your sword like this won't always kill them but you will get some hits on them And unfortunately, well, we could actually, since he's here. Did 
deal with this guy the easy way. There we go. Ah, uh, yes, this guy. Did that actually finish off that Huh, I guess it did. Not gonna complain. I mean, question, it's one thing, but complain about it, it's a completely different story. That's neat. Go back up this way to deal with this, though. a girl. Okay. We can take care of this right here. See what happens when you take a step too early. You just kind of make them you know, just go down a little bit further to get a hold of you. Or to annoy you by going around you, anyway. Head this way, watch out for the exploding, uh... Watch out for the exploding thing here. Finally a way down. Anyway... We released yet another mushroom, huh? And yes, it is just that easy. Another snail, huh? Neat. Apparently they have a pretty thriving snail jockey community. Who knew? Come on. I mean, by yourself, you're not much. Pretty easy to ignore them if, you know, they don't have a whole lot of other things to distract me. Grandpa, huh? Okay. didn't quite get out of the way. You are being difficult. Stop being difficult. Good. No more problem there. Now a new thing we need to watch out for here are hidden bridges. Be 
Because sometimes they will hold things like Lucky Blades behind them. Lucky Blade doesn't give us critical hits, but it is stronger overall and will basically make more gems pop out for monsters. The overall stronger is much... is very nice, actually. Let's see, I can't remember if there's... I think I have to get that last. Or pretty close to last in this area. And yeah, this episode's gonna go a little longer because there's not really a good breaking point for it. You done spitting them out? No, you're not done spitting them out. Okay, now you're done spitting them out. That being that... Now you have more wizards to deal with. I don't know what else to call them at the moment. out there. Sadly, no lucky shoe or no, uh, no really good sword for us because I need the blade, or I need the, uh, really good sword. No really good stat boosting item because I need to have the ice, or, uh, the mushroom shoes on. I cannot talk today. Talking is hard. Trouble figuring out where to land there, dude. And another grandpa. A snail, huh? A grandpa with the snail at that. Grandpa Jockey? Huh, neat. And now... Come on. Anyone else gonna spit out, um... extra damage that I'm happy with, but you know. Ah, good. And now we have a fast way back here. I know there were probably a couple of more things I could have done in that area, but the video went on long enough. So next time, when we come back, we will talk to all the new people we have freed up around here, and then we will head out and, well, use the portal to continue on our merry way the side of this mountain, and the inside, and the outside, and the right side, and left side, and all the sides of the mountain. Anyway, take care everyone, I will see you back next time for more.